In the end, the liberating character of the image of God is grounded in the nature of God, who calls the world into being as an act of generosity. This means that we cannot artificially separate our vision of God's redemptive love from an understanding of God's creative power. A careful reading of Genesis 1, 1 through 2, 3, thus converges on John 3:16. In both creation and redemption, God so loved the world that he gave. J. Richard Middleton God said, let the water teem with living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the sky. So God created the great creatures of the sea and every living and moving thing with which the water teems according to their kinds and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them and said, be fruitful and increase in number and fill the water in the seas and let the birds increase on the earth. And there was evening and there was morning the fifth day. 